Hello everyone and welcome to none other than Milan. So if you've been watching our European road trips so far, as you will know, we have been in France, Switzerland, and more recently exploring Lake Como, which is actually only around a one hour train journey into the center of Milan. So how could we resist? There's literally nobody on the train, so. It's just us. So it'll take us about an hour to get there. We'll see some nice scenery on the way. It is raining a little bit today, hence the raincoats, but we can survive. Yeah, we'll be fine. <laughs> So the first thing we did was head towards the iconic Duomo di Milano, Milan's stunning cathedral. But on the way, we visited the statue of Leonardo da Vinci, which is located in front of the Scala Theatre. Leonardo actually lived and worked in Milan for many years and designed many inventions and projects for this city. So right next to the statue of Leonardo da Vinci, you will find this. I think one of the most iconic shopping centers in, I'm gonna say the whole world, to be honest. You wanna do some shopping here, Ellie? I don't know, my bank account will say no. <laughs> I think Prada has a bargain section. Yeah, sales, summer sales. <laughs> summer sales. Price 650. So, but if, yeah, this is the activity we do. Yeah, we just look at the prices because we can't afford it. <laughs> <laughs> and so, we get to our final stop. Yeah. It's massive. I didn't realize it's this massive. Yeah, it's pretty big. So the Duomo di Milano is the centerpiece of this city. It took almost six centuries to complete this cathedral and it's actually the third largest church in the world. So obviously we had to go inside. We got our tickets. Yes, look. It's humongous. <laughs> yeah. But we can go onto the roof. That sounds cool. Which should give us some good views. How many stairs are there? No, we're already on the bread. Yeah, and we're about to eat pizza, so. Exactly. Walking up an architect. Oh. On the roof of uh, the cathedral, Ellie. Yeah, it's, it's quite cool. It's uh, nice to be able to see all the details from up close. Yeah. From the tower. You can't tell that there's much here from below. I didn't realize there were like statues of figures on top of the spears. <laughs> I were at the front. And so here we are on the roof of uh, Milan Cathedral. Uh, incredible place, incredible view. I never knew how many spires there were, but honestly it looks like there's hundreds. But from here you can see pretty much the whole city. The new city over there with its few skyscrapers. And all the people down there just kind of look like ants. Yeah, it's a shame that the scaffold in here at the moment, but uh, still, it doesn't affect the view. After this, we headed to the Palazzo Real di Milano, which is the former royal palace of Milan. It's actually now a museum. Just down the road from the cathedral, we headed to the Pinacoteca di Brera, which is one of the most important art galleries in Italy. It has a collection of paintings from the 14th to the 20th centuries. And the museum itself is located inside a beautiful building that also houses an academy of fine arts and a botanical garden as well. And now, after all this exploration, it was most certainly lunchtime. And um, we had done quite a lot of walking around already, but we decided to walk to pretty much the opposite end of the city for lunch. We're gonna have a classic Italian pizza for dinner, but 
Milan also has a Chinatown, and on the walk to it, we can see many of Milan's lesser known sites as well. I haven't had dumplings in so long, and I miss them so much. And on the way back, another thing that you cannot miss out on is Milan's gelato. It's very nice. Yeah. You have the same flavors as before? No, I got uh, tiramisu uh, okay. this time. Oh, the that's last pretty. time I got Kinder Bueno. So after eating all of that food, we had to burn off some of those calories. So we walked back via the Arco della Pace. What do you think of the Arc, Eli? It's very pretty actually, yeah, I'm impressed. <laughs> it was built in the 19th century to celebrate Napoleon's victories, but it was later modified to honor the Italian unification. It's also located inside this beautiful park, which we walked across to another icon of Milan, and that is Sforzesco Castle. This is a medieval fortress that was the residence of the Sforza family, who ruled Milan in the 15th and 16th centuries. The castle is now a museum complex that houses several collections of art, weapons, musical instruments even, and furniture as well, which we enjoyed so much walking around. It was such an incredible museum, really one of my favorites I think we saw on our road trip. You can also visit the courtyards and the gardens where you can relax and just enjoy the atmosphere and surroundings. And last but not least, it is most definitely pizza time. Mm -hmm. We have a Mine is just a cheesy mess. Yeah, exactly. It's a very cheesy mess, yeah. I love anyway. cheese. With your extra ham. So these are my top 10 things to do if you have a day in Milan. Like I said, we did do this all in one day, so it's definitely possible. A slight bit of a rush, maybe. I think I would have loved to have some more time there, but Alas, we have to head on to Venice next and then up into the Italian Dolomites after that and so, so much to see, too little time. So I really hope you enjoyed this video, found it helpful. If you did, please do give it a like and subscribe to my channel if you do want to see more. Please make sure to check out the rest of my European road trip if you do want to see uh, what we got up to on the other days. We were traveling around Europe for pretty much a month and so saw many amazing things on the way. Let me know in the comments if I missed any of your favorite places in Milan out of the video. And that way we can all share ideas and get even more from this beautiful city. But yeah, thank you for watching. Please subscribe if you did enjoy. And I'll see you in the next one. Ciao.